um hello um i just had a problem with my sql server management studio i could not be able to log in i could not be able to log into my sql server configuration manager you know so um i was you know playing around with my files and uh, i wanted to log in i could not be able to log in with my code i could not be able to log in with my with the with network configuration manager i could not be able to log in so i recall that um i did play with some of my files probably that, that is where the problem started i checked on google to be able to see if i might find some solution i saw a lot of but none of them could be able to help so what i did was to record that i play with my files then i started with um but first of all the message each time i wanted to log in the message is it, it shows is that the request fell or the service did not respond in a timely fashion you know so every time this message pop up each time this message pop up so what i did was to go find go to my path you know my my local machine then I go to my SQL Server instance instance name. So I start from here. Here I start from here. Is the middle one? MS SQL 14. Point MS SQL Server. So Microsoft SQL Server 14. Microsoft SQL Server. So what I did was to, in case you have the same issue that I'm trying to show you guys. So if if you if you cannot be able to log in. You find out that your system is trying to tell you that the request failed or the service did not respond in a timely fashion. So what you should do is to try to see if you can be able to recall the last thing you did before they begin to see that error. So now in my case, uh, here is what, what th this is what happened to me. I went to this particular instance file name. So what I did was to locate it back and right click go to property then make sure that you deselect this box both of them let it be plain go to security all application make sure that all is selected if it's not edit and allow all then go to system make sure that all is allowed if it's not edit allow all go to your PC name or whatever your computer name, user's name, not administrator, not administrators. Make sure that click on it. Make sure that all is allow. If it's not edit and allow all, apply and click OK. So what we did here is three steps: your your PC name, your system name, and all application package. Then once you, you apply or click ok i'm not gonna do that because i've done my what i'm gonna do is to cancel this so once once it's done then you click you click on the instance name again click on it go to the child go to the container so what you do right click go to your property deselect the box make sure it's plain go to your security click your system make sure it's allowed if not edit allow apply go to your system name your computer name or your PC name click on it allow if not edit and allow all apply and click OK so what we did we did here is two options two two consecutive um, plan system and your pc name you click the system and allow or apply and click your pc name or your computer laptop name select all if not edit allow apply and click ok i'm not doing i've already done my you click again my is data i don't know what yours is i'm using sql server 2017 so my is data i said it as data where my sql server um um 
master database and um, log master file is being stored then right click go to property deselect this box make sure that it's plain none is none of it is selected go to security click your system make sure that all is selected if not edit select all and apply click your pc name or your or your computer name your laptop make sure that all is allowed if not edit and allow apply and click ok it's done so let me sh let me repeat again what we did here again and on data is system and your pc or your computer name not not the administrator no and again make sure that the microsoft sql server the last one the first one we did because is is here as well is the one is the main engine that control all these options make sure that you click on it and make sure that all is allowed then apply this is the we, we did we did three on data is three three different um items we did one is your microsoft sql server the other one is your computer name or your pc name and the last we did the system so three of these make sure that all is selected and apply and click ok i'm not doing i have already done my as soon as you're done restart your computer and go back to your configuration manager and restart your instance you get access to your sql server management studio all right thank you for watching see you some other time